All right, Shalom, all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Yitzhak, Benash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. Shabbat Shalom, Tazabon, Bayah, can I bring a real quick short lesson on this? Uh, I'm a few days behind, Salaki, but on the response to this, this uh, WFI uh, whole situation, okay, um, of them, along with many other groups, out there who dispute the fact that the CHIP, the MOTB, RFID, okay, is the mark of the beast that we read about in Revelation 13. Okay, and, um, you know, I'm just going to give a quick commentary. You know, various other brothers have done lessons on it, and uh, the apostles have uh, done lessons on it. So uh, I'm just going to speak briefly on it from my point of view. Okay, and we'll just jump right into the scripture here. Okay, this is Revelation, and we've gone through this many, many times. Revelation 13 to 16, and he called us all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, okay, in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, so the question, uh, well, let's finish thir uh, 17, 13, 17. And that no man might buy or sell, buy or sell, no man, right? So individual person, right? And it meaning a man or woman, okay? Say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, okay? We've been through this many, many times. Now, you have the leader of that, uh, that group, who is saying basically that it's spiritual. And then when you go and look into the mark, it doesn't say RFID. Now, <clears throat> I watched a little bit of uh, Apostle Tahar's video um, when these guys were going in it. Okay, I think, I don't know, I maybe went through about the first two hours um, of what they were going through, right? Uh, I think Apostle Tahar was had kind of gone sped through a little bit of it, but I watched about thirty minutes of the first two hours. Uh, anyway, um, and they had not gotten to the issue or the question at hand, so you know <clears throat> that goes to show you that they were they were not at all uh, interested in getting to the to the meat of the question. Okay, and um, along with other groups. You know this whole idea of uh, what's what's a couple of them. Um, it's John three sixteen. Uh, it's is uh, sin. Uh, what's the other one? Um, it's an embargo. All these different types of things, right? Okay, and uh, they're just being really contentious about the whole matter and really just doesn't want to say that Great Millstone, the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone got it right. Okay, that's what it pretty much boils down to in my eyes. So let's go over here and get a quick scripture. Okay, this is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and we'll just start at 5. All right. And it reads, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Okay. So, to me, uh, with these guys, WFI, I mean, it's a sign of unbelief, right? Um, these guys do not believe uh, what the prophecy says in Revelation 13. Okay. Because they're they're bucking up against the hundred percent truth in what's been taught. Okay, it's not a spiritual mark; it's a literal mark; it's a physical mark. Okay, and um, you got a lot of them who are, you know, being uh, argumentative about it, and who are have uh, shown shown themselves to be scoffers and mockers. Okay, and uh, that needs be in these last days, 
okay? And uh, look, nobody's heard over here about that, okay? You just showing the whole world who you really are. All right, so this is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 3, and it reads, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, right? And when you're trying to build your fan base, okay, you're trying to build up uh, your 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 following, you know, uh, you do what? You create, uh, you create a controversy, okay? You create uh, some type of contention okay so that people will be interested in what it is you have to say now those people that will be interested are more than likely two-third unbelievers anyway okay so going on verse four and it reads and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation but this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the most high the heavens were of old and the earth standed out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished right so whatever the lord speaks it will come to pass okay and you can't get around it no matter <clears throat> how you try to uh, create your own doctrine or come up with your own understanding okay all right this is revelation uh, 22 and 10 and it reads and he saith unto me seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book so this is a book of prophecy okay and you cannot change the prophecy no matter how much you try okay no matter how many people you sit up on a panel to try to act like you so deep okay you won't be able to to add to or take away really from the prophecy okay for the time is at hand he that is just let him be just salakia but he salakia he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. And when you go up against really just how clear living in this day and age I, I don't see how you can not see this as being exactly what what was told that it is by the positive great millstone how can you sit there and say that it's not okay the mark is not the rfid i don't see how you can do that now he goes in to say uh i forget the brother's uh the man's name um the head of uh, WFI, uh, I forget his name. I think he was known as Adam Abbott at one time. But anyway, um, wants it to to be specific to saying RFID, which I mean that's that's a bogus stance to make. Okay, um, that's a bogus stance to take because there are many things that are implied or uh, in the scriptures or that are metaphorically spoken or parabolically spoken, okay, that to, didn't use today's terms. So that's not a stance to take. I mean, you can't rest your morals upon that and say, oh, it needs to say RFID or else that's not that's not what it is okay that's 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 bogus all right because the, there are many words that we use today that are not in the scriptures okay so going on it reads um i have sent 
by an angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him that hear it say, come. And let him that is a thirst come and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So you are neither to add or take away the things in this book, the wisdom, the knowledge, the interpretation, the understanding of it. Okay, not a private interpretation, but the interpretation that was written by the prophet. You see, so you can't not make something. Okay, what it what it what it really is, you can't undo it. Okay, and it's and it should be clear, in which, I think over there them guys they know that it is, but for whatever reason. Okay. They 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 don't want to they don't want to admit that that's what it is. Okay, so uh, we get a couple more scriptures uh, here. Now <clears throat> there are there are others out there who say, well, um, it's sin. Well, we've all sinned. Okay, so that can't be the case. All right. That can't that can't be the case at all um, to say that uh, that's that's the mark. OK, we'll read uh, Isaiah 64 and 4 and it, and it reads, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear. Neither hath the eye seen O power besides thee. What he hath prepared for them that waited for him. Thou meetest him that rejoices and worketh righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned. And those is continuous, and we shall be saved. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all of our righteousness as are as filthy rags. Right. So none of us are righteous in our own right. You see, it takes the house shine to clean us up. So Sin can't be the mark, okay? Because through Yahweh Shah, we, we've been made clean. All right, going on and it reads, and we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. And there is none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us and has consumed us because of our iniquity. Just going on to show you that <clears throat> we had sin and iniquity, all of us. Okay. But through Yahweh Shai, we're made clean again, right? Our, our sins and iniquity are taken away through his blood. For now, O Lord, Yahweh, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou art thou our potter, and we all are work the work of thy hand. Be not wroth very sore, O Lord Yahweh, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see we beseech thee, we are all thy people. Right? You know, the Israelites, okay, are the people of the Lord. And though we sin, the Lord gave us a way back through Yahweh Shai. Okay? So the mark can't be sin. All right? And then you have, uh, what was the other one? Sleeping with white women. All right? It was a Jake who rose the to uh rose the bed with a white woman. How in the hell is that the mark? Okay. So Jake and a white girl go so called white girl go to a, a hotel, right? And they do whatever they do and when when when, when they get done, all right, the, does the white girl put a a, a, <clears throat> a white coochie Coupon in, in Jake's hand, and when they before they check out, they they step up to the desk and and they pay with this coupon. <clears throat> and now, just because she put it in his right hand, does he have a mark now? 
and because he passes it to the to the clerk at the desk now does he have it it do, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense you know not in the least little bit okay um I don't know. I don't know. You know, these people are just they're just bugged out. Then I think what was the other one? Um, I can't. Oh, embargo, right? Some some of the, one of these other groups said it was an embargo. Okay, how how is that possible? Who? How would you enforce an embargo? It would have to, I mean, you're looking at, you're looking at NATO putting an embargo or a sanction on another country. Okay, how does that stop everybody else from buying and selling? You know, you got to make it make sense some kind of way. So is that to say if they came up with an embargo for Ishmael, right? If you stop at a gas station. Just trying to make a simple example, and it's owned by the Ishmaelites, and you tell them, you know, you you pump your gas, say, oh, I don't have to pay you because there's an embargo on you, so, you know, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay you, you know, or they can't sell what they have. It, it's they tell you to just pump the pump the gas for free because we have an embargo against us. I mean, how does that work without somebody tracking it anyway? You see, if a man can't buy or sell, and this is worldwide now, this isn't just, you know, a random group of people and that's it, you know. This is this is worldwide. Let me let me see if I can get that as soon as I uh let's read this scripture here and then I'll try to get that. Lord willing I remember to get the uh scripture that talks about the hour of tempt temptation that will come upon the whole world. So it has to be a system in which they would have to find a way to track everything that is either bought or sold by individuals, not necessarily countries or nations. You see, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. All right. So this is Romans uh, three and we'll jump in at twenty one. It reads, but now the righteousness of the most high without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Right. We come into grace now, okay, which our sins be forgiven, so it can't be sin. All right, verse 22, even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, unto all and upon all them that believe, you see, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. Being justified freely by his what? Grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay. Whom the Most High has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for what? The remission of sins that are past. Okay. Through the forbearance of the Most High. So it ain't sin. It can't be sin. If you're in the truth and you're in this faith and you believe in how about Shem and Al-Bashar, then sin is not the mark of beast. To declare, verse 26, to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Yahweh Come on, man. Really? It has to say RFID that that man said, okay. I slack here, slip of the tongue. I said brother at first, but you know, uh, what did I want to say? Oh, the hour. Revelation three and ten. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, 
I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, right? So there will have to be a way, right, that whoever is in control will have to have a way to monitor everything, okay, in a physical sense, all right? Though the book is, our book is uh, spiritual, this is talking about a literal thing, all right? So anyway, I just kind of wanted to hit that point just, you know, for a commentary purpose, all right? You know, this whole idea with WFI, you know, they, and, he, and, and, and these other uh, other groups, you know, who, who, who say it's all these other different things, you know, they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. So any, anyway, with that, I'll just leave it right there, okay? Like I said, you know, just my commentary on it, you know, the elders and, and what have you and all the brothers have, have, uh, have put up uh, lessons on it. So, you know, that's kind of my take on it. And I give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, the Prophets and Bells, all right? I'll see you all on the next lesson. Shalom.